Hello Aries, this is your reading for the 21st to the 22nd. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. I'm going to pull your energy for today. And then with the Vice Versa Tarot, we're going to see who's coming towards you or who's lurking around you and what they want. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Aries today. Aries. Move my little e cigarette thing out of the way. What's going on with Aries? Six of Swords. Moving away from something. Um, I feel like you guys have been through some, some things here. And um, and what you're moving away from is definitely something that has hurt you. Um, I feel like, you know, you're moving away because really and truly you know is, is what's best, okay? Queen of Swords. Hmm. I think a lot of you still want to know, like, the truth behind something that, um, that hurt you, disappointed you here, okay? Or either there is an air sign that is wanting to stop you guys from moving on, okay? male or female queen of swords okay somebody wants to know some truth um i feel like this person also feels hurt disappointed here okay they want to say something to you exactly um now we have the three of swords there's somebody that is um around you guys i feel that wants to tell you that you hurt them Okay, whatever that means, but I feel like you, I think you know this person is around you or is thinking about you. I'm thinking that you guys are kind of feeling this, feeling this energy, um, feeling like something's going to happen. Maybe you've seen some synchronicities like 555. Five, five. Um, that's almost like the tower. When you get unexpected news, something unexpected happens. Does not necessarily mean that it's like detrimental or it's like really horrible, but definitely something shocking, I feel like, is coming your way, okay, energetically. Okay, moving away from um, fighting arguments, conflict, I feel. And I think you guys are doing this. Um, you're using your reasoning more than anything at this point. Knowing that a certain situation or situations and people are just not good for you. Okay, leaving that energy behind. Okay, King of Swords here. Hmm. Definitely an air sign. I feel strong Aquarius energy um, is wanting to fight, either fight um, for you guys or either they want to address something with you that could lead to um, a heated argument. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys, that somebody is um, really feeling some kind of way today. All right, I don't see any wands here, so I don't see anybody like physically coming towards you right now but there is definitely an air of somebody has an axe to grind okay seven of swords i feel like this person at one time ghosted you guys or either they did something really deceptive okay so somebody that left you um without any remorse or you know was very cold like that Strong Aquarius energy here for you guys. Nothing but swords, nothing but thoughts going on in the air. Okay? So, let's see. Wow. I, I think that sums it up for who's coming towards you, huh? Okay, let's see with the Vice Versa Tarot. Who's coming towards you guys? Who's lurking around you energetically? Who's lurking around Aries? Who's coming towards Aries? Who's coming towards Aries? Please show me. Who's coming towards Aries? Who's coming towards Aries? Somebody that's not happy. I feel like they are, are very depressed. I think at one time, um, this individual, that's the Nine of Cups on the reverse side, though. Somebody that's not in touch with their emotions. See how they're floating up in the clouds? This way, they're facing their happiness. They're looking out. 
they're they're wondering like what is out there for me but this side this person's very depressed coming towards you and not in touch with their emotions piscean energy there okay let's see hmm I think this person probably once upon a time went out and tried to start something new somewhere else and that quickly fizzled out. It didn't work out for them, okay? So keep that in mind, guys, that somebody's coming towards you that left, that deceived you. Whatever they did, lied to you, was cold to you, was hurtful to you, um, they went out in exploration of something else and they are coming back. Now, they could be coming back because they just, you know, maybe wanted to be single, was, was afraid of commitment even, but, and, you know, just wanted to be out on their own. And then when they got away from you, um, realized that, wait a minute, you know, Aries is where it's at. Aries is who makes me happy. You know, it could be that. But it could also be that this person went out because the Ace of Wands is also a very um, sexual energy, okay? This is the stick. So it could have been that this person um, left in search of something else um, sexually, okay? And then, like, thinking the grass is greener on the other side. But now it's like, no, that's not what makes them happy. They're very depressed, very out of touch with their emotions, and they're coming back your way, having strong feelings toward you, okay? What do they want from Aries? What does this person want from Aries? What do they want from Aries? What do they want from Aries? Hmm. That's the um the emperor there. No, that's not the emperor. That's the hierophant turned around. Huh. What I'm getting here is that. This person is very, very stubborn and set in their ways, okay? And they may want something non-traditional from you, okay? Steal. Because, again, I don't see any, um, any sword, I mean, any wands here. I'm looking at this card. Yeah, this person, see that baby sitting back there and the freaking hierophant is turned out towards the, the sky, not even paying attention to the baby. It's like this person really wants to, um, they really want to, they want to hurt you is what I'm getting here. And what I mean by that is like they want your attention and they want to say something to you, but they still are not coming with a good energy here. Okay, not being supportive, not wanting to um, compromise, not wanting to commit, just kind of up in the air. This person's out of touch with their emotions for sure. Taurus energy there. Hmm. And then we have the magician. But at the same time, it's like, okay, so... This annoys me, honestly, because you've got somebody that is is like this in your midst that wants basically to let you have it, to discuss something um, that they feel like has hurt them or disappointed them. When I see them as the ones that originally like left this situation and didn't do so with integrity, okay? But it's like, since they've left, maybe they've heard something about you guys, or maybe they've seen something, and, and now it's like their focus is all on you guys because there's something about you that I feel is drawing them in, okay? Aside from them going out and, and not really finding the happiness that they thought they were going to find, okay? There's something that's drawing them in. I feel okay um, and they are confident that they can start over with you but the thing is they feel like they can they can like say whatever um, they need to say and get you back 
But be mindful that if this person does come back, which I don't see them making any moves anytime soon, to be honest with you. But I feel they will come back for sure. Um, when they come back, make sure they've changed from the person that you didn't necessarily like before. Okay? Because I don't see good energy coming from them. Their cards are reversed except for the magician, which feels very manipulative to me. Okay? Very manipulative to me. Alright guys, so what we have here is Aquarius is very, very, very strong here. Um, Pisces, Taurus, um, maybe, you know, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is here as well. Gemini, Virgo energy, guys. Okay, so that is what I have for you and I will be speaking with you guys soon.